Today, let's talk about how to use social media for network marketing. I'm gonna share with you what works right now, regardless of your following, your experience, or how much you even know about social media. First, I wanna break down the two main methods to build your network marketing business on social media. Then I'm going to share the biggest mistake that network marketers make around social media. Then I'm gonna share with you the fastest way to grow your business on social media. And this is a new way. It's only been working for about the last year or so. It's gonna really help you out. So if you see social media as complicated, believe me, I understand. It can be frustrating, it can be overwhelming, there are so many different options, what's even the right platform to use, how much time should I spend on it? There, there's just so much that you could be you know, just frustrated with and overwhelmed with around social media. So if you're feeling that way, understand that's completely normal. Most people that are trying to build their business on social media and are newer, you know, they get frustrated, they get overwhelmed because there are so many buttons, there's so many options. Do you do stories? Do you do videos? Do you do reels? Like what, what is all that stuff, right? And what's the difference? First, I wanna simplify this. I want to help you understand that there's two main methods, no matter what platform, of building your business on social media. The two main methods are prospecting and marketing. And it's important for you to understand the distinction between the two, and it's important for you to understand that there are two. So marketing, what is that? Marketing is you're doing something you hope someone responds to. So that could be a post on your you know, Facebook feed or Instagram or whatever it is that you're using. It's you doing something you hope someone responds to, right? You, you don't know who, right? Who will see it? How many will see it? When will they see it? Will they ever see it? Who knows, right? But you're doing something, whether it's a, you know, you posting a video or you writing out some, some text or a picture, that's marketing. And it is passive because you just don't know how, you know, how people are going to react, if they're gonna see it, et cetera. The second part is prospecting. That's you reaching out to an individual. By the way, that's not limited to social media, of course. That could be you texting someone, emailing someone. It could be you uh, sending a direct message through social media. That's you directing a message at an individual and asking them the question, okay? Of, you know, hey, would you like to take a look at what I'm doing? Or would you be open to making extra money on social media or losing weight or whatever product you're representing? If you can just visualize those two categories, prospecting and marketing, then it'll help you kind of decipher all other advice that you get because you need to understand that there is a difference. What I would say in a conversation and prospecting is not what I would post. If I'm prospecting someone, I might say, hey, would you be open to taking a look at what I'm doing to make some extra money? I'm not gonna post that as, as a marketing because that sounds really spammy. It sounds, it doesn't sound very cool. Hey, would you be open, like, who are you talking to? This one, prospecting, you're clearly speaking to an individual. Now. In regards to marketing, let me share with you the biggest mistake that most network marketers make. And that is in marketing, and remember what we covered, right? It's what you, what you were posting, you're doing something you hope someone responds to. In marketing, the biggest mistake is thinking that what you should be marketing should all be around the thing you're selling. This is a big mistake. So I see it all the time right? Someone joins a, a weight loss, you know, network marketing company. All of a sudden they're posting about the protein powder. They're posting about the fat burners. They're posting about the whatever it is. And it just looks like a pitch and it just looks like, oh, this person is constantly promoting. They're constantly spamming, you know, Facebook with the things they're trying to sell. That's not how social media works, at least well. So people don't go on social media to, you know, hey, I, I hope someone promotes a, a weight loss product so I can purchase it. No, they would go to a search engine for that, or they would go to Amazon for that, or they would go to a shopping site, okay? And so social media is a little different. People go for entertainment, they go for education, and the education part is the part that I think is most beneficial to people that are newer. Let's say that I join a, a weight loss network marketing company and I want to start doing some marketing to get some people reaching out to me. Well, the best thing you can actually do 
that anybody can do, by the way, is education. And we have a process that we've been teaching for you know, 10 years called ILT, Invest, Learn, Teach. So you invest your time, you know, possibly money if you're buying a course or something, but invest your time to learn something, then you teach it. Back to my example, if I'm in weight loss, but you could be in you know, fill in the blank, whatever you're in, right? Skin care, health and wellness, et cetera. So if I'm in weight loss, maybe I Google some weight loss articles, find some suggestions, and I post, hey, for those trying to lose weight, here's 10 suggestions that I found, I hope they help. Anyone that comments on that or, or does anything to it, I'm gonna then prospect. I'm then gonna reach out to and say, hey, I saw that you like my weight loss tips. Are you, are you currently trying to lose weight? because I, I, I may have something that could help. So notice, instead of it being one shot, buy my thing, here it is for sale, it's buy one, get one, it's two steps. It's you doing some education, then connecting with who resonates with it. Let me give you a different example. So let's say that you have a product that helps people sleep better at night. What if I searched sleeping tips and then decided to do a video? What if I do a video around sleeping tips? Well, guess who would watch that? people that struggle with sleep. If someone's getting sound sleep every night, they're not watching that. So literally anyone that watches it, and if we can, and, and if they comment or anything like that, you know that's a person that struggles with sleep. That's what you would call a great target market. You have something that helps with sleep, they're struggling with sleep, there you go. And, and by the way, it isn't plagiarism. All right, if you're, wherever you're finding those tips, give that website a shout out. Hey, I was on this website the other day and I found these, these different tips. People appreciate that. They're, they're not mad because you didn't originally come up with them, but it's a way for you to educate and provide value whether someone buys from you or not. You do that enough and you will build a following. All of a sudden you'll have people craving your tips. And you know, I've had people say, hey man, where's your video? And I'm like, well, I haven't done it yet, right? They're craving my tips. They're wanting the, the value that, that I'm providing. And so you can do that too, and really anyone can with ILT. Before I get to my last tip, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We provide a lot of free training that will help you as a network marketer. Lastly, I wanna share with you that the current hottest method for growing your network marketing business on social media. The very, I'm just so excited to share this with you because it really doesn't matter if you have a big following or not because of some of the changes in technology. This I became aware of about maybe a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. Who changed the game up in marketing is a company you may have heard of called TikTok. TikTok, which I used to think was just for young people, but here's a news flash. As of six months ago, there are over 30 million TikTok users over the age of 50. Does that, does that change your mind about TikTok? But TikTok did something very differently than all of the other social media platforms. They changed the algorithm. And that's just a fancy word for how the platform, the social media platform, shows its users your content. So let's take Facebook. If you're on Facebook, and let's say you have 500 friends, okay? So when you post something, here's what I'll guarantee you, not all 500 will ever see it. Whether it's your anniversary pick, your birthday thing, not all of them will ever see it. What Facebook does is when you post something, it takes it and it shows it to a very small subsection of people that know you and follow you and you're friends with. They'll show it to them, and if it performs well, meaning that small subsection comments on it and likes it and loves it and all that stuff, it'll show it to a few more. It'll open it up to a few more. Again, of people that know and follow you or you're friends with, okay? So if you're not friends with many, then even fewer are seeing it. TikTok went a different route. So TikTok decided that it was going to show content to who they thought would like it, whether they knew you or not. And this is revolutionary in the marketing world. And, and I'll tell you a couple things that, that, that I learned. So I had a friend of mine that shared with me that he had people in his team that were going over to TikTok and crushing it. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. And I thought he meant influencers because you know if you're an influencer, you can pretty much go anywhere and, and crush it. But he corrected me and said, no, no, these are people that were never able to make it happen on Facebook. They actually struggled over there. And I'm like, 
you're saying someone struggled for years over on Facebook, they went over to TikTok and now they're crushing it. I'm like, I, I need to learn more. And so I started a TikTok account because if I, if I learn a way, if I hear of a way for the average ordinary person that isn't an influencer to create results in network marketing, I have to learn it. That's my job. And so I, st I, I didn't even have a TikTok account at the, at the time. I create a TikTok account and I start posting videos and I'm just trying to feel it out, just trying to learn it a little bit. And so I'm posting what I post. I post, you know, business tips, right? So I'm giving tips, I'm giving advice. And uh, there was a guy on TikTok that commented on my video, Lenny Phoenix. Lenny Phoenix says, uh, you're giving advice, but you don't even get that many views. No hate, Merry Christmas, because it was around Christmas. And it was awesome because, you know, he's right. I mean, I only had a few hundred followers over there because I just started it. And, but it gave me an opportunity. And so I replied to Lenny Phoenix in a video. And in that video, I said, you know what, Lenny, man, you're right. I've, I've created success in other places, but I, I'm new here. And, and you're right, I don't get a lot of views yet. And I'm you know, just starting over here. Why is that the main criteria for people sharing value? You know, why can't we learn from, from people that are on the journey if they have good tips, good advice, good suggestions. So I kind of took it as a stand to stand up for the little guy, stand up for the person that is just getting started. Why, you know, why, why is it they have to be a guru for someone to give tips? And so I do that video, I post it, I don't know what's gonna happen, he's probably gonna hate on me, right? And I, and I walk away and I'm chasing the kids around. Later that day, I come back. Now, keep in mind, I had about 300 followers on there. I come back, that video has 20,000 views. And I'm like, now, I've been a full-time marketer for 16 years. On average, we spend between fifty dollars to $100,000 a month in Facebook ads. I have, to my knowledge, two videos that organically, without ads, got over 50,000 views on Facebook, which we've, by the way, been on for 10 years, and without any ads. And so I refresh, it's got 25,000 views, it's got 30,000 views, it goes to 40,000 views, it goes to 50,000 views. This video with me, 300 followers, it made no sense. And then I'm like, man, they're showing it to people that don't even know me, that don't even follow me, that's amazing. So this gave the little guy a shot at having strangers view your content in a way that you never would get on Facebook. Now, let me tell you, you, you can have 50,000 followers, you still ain't getting 50,000 views over on Facebook. And I mean, we have, I think somewhere between 200, 250,000 followers on Facebook. Our average video, we'll get, a, you know, if we don't put ads behind it, we'll only get a few thousand, right? 3,000, 5,000 views, which we're grateful for, but nothing like what we saw on TikTok, it was crazy. The fastest way for you to grow right now is for you to embrace your perhaps discomfort and start doing shorter videos. These short videos are working like crazy and these are things you really, really, really should embrace because they are the fastest things we see helping people build their network marketing business. Now, if you'd like some instructions on how to do these short videos, because these videos might be 15 seconds long. They're easier than longer videos, but they're still a, a framework that we've created on how to maximize your short videos. There's a link in the description. It's a free training that you can attend for free. Feel free to click that link in the description. It will take you over to the training. You just gotta register for it and then you'll be able to watch it. But I'll actually show you our three-step launch to really get some results very easily regardless of your age or understanding of technology. And I think you're really gonna love it.